welcome to uh, Film Mixologist, the place thingy where we get lots of junk uh, and try to revive it. Now, on today's episode, what I'm going to be working on is this holy two-barrel carb, but it is a I put quite a special four-barrel two-barrel two carb from Holly, which is the 500 CFM one. So basically, in terms of um, two-barrel carbs from Holly you've got basically two models, the 350 and the 500. Now, you can tell a 500 because it is the one that has kind of the, the, the largest throttle plates to it. And they're, uh, yeah, 42 and a bit mil um, in diameter. So, so these, these are the ones to have. If you have a, if you have any engine that has a, a two barrel manifold this is the one you want because the, the performance is going to increase quite dramatically from if you've got the 350 that has um, 39 mil something uh, throttle plates so this unit in particular uh, I'll bring you a bit closer um, and, I'll, and I'll give you some of, some of the main kind of characteristics of it so as you can read there there's a list 4412 uh, which is 500 CFM unit. As you can see, it's got cathedral style fuel bolts or center hung fuel bolts, whatever you want to call it. Now, this unit in particular does have kind of a bit of an issue, which is here. Look at this. It has a little bit of floppage on the on the on on the throttle lever, but I can show. But I'm going to show you a very easy tip to fix this. Uh, as you can see, the carb is quite dusty. It's probably been sitting around uh, for, for for a while. Look at that. Look at all that dust. So, but again, it's to be expected from, from, from a carb that's kind of pretty much straight from a scrap, scrap yard is what you, would, what you would find. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, to, to obviously take it apart, do some initial diagnosis, and then I'm gonna start the cleaning process of the unit. So here's the the unit is being disassembled completely, and what's it? Look at look at you, you can you can take a lot of dust in here. Look at this. Now I know this unit might look a bit rough at the moment, but steady on because this unit this. The, especially the older the carburetors, the better quality they are, so they generally tend to rebuild very well. Okay, so after a kind of fair few rounds of, of cleaning, I think this unit is now starting to really come back around, and so I'm I'm getting ready in the process of of starting to rebuild again. However, before I do that, remember I I need to address the floppage. Of the throttle of, of the throttle lever. Now the way that I'm going to do it, and I'm going to show you kind of close up, is I'm going to take this punch, and basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to punch small indentures in the edge of the metal in order to expand. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the get the welder and give it just just a little bit of welding.
go as you can see there the technique with the uh, with the punch what it does it secu secures it mechanically and then what you do is you put uh, like a little bit of welding and that would and that means that the the thing it's it stops flopping completely so now we're ready to stop putting all the unit together okay so now as, you, as you've seen we've kind of gone ahead quite a bit in the build and I've got it nearly complete but as you can see there's a bit of floppage here and the reason why there is some floppage is that um, I'm missing a power valve for this unit it takes a 60 a 55 power valve which I haven't got at the moment so I'm waiting on kind of supply chain for that so as soon as the power valve comes in I just take this off put the power valve in the metering block put the fuel bowl back on and we're ready to go obviously look at the repair for the you know for the for the throw shaft it's absolutely perfect which is good so I'll show you so there we go this is the unit obviously as I explained the, this is this is kind of loose so that I don't um, but check this out so the repair of the of the throttle shaft went quite well I think I need to put it like this yeah there we go um, so that's that that's all good um, let me show you here the throttle plates I had to do some a little bit of facing on the on the here on the back but apart from that uh, this unit is in really good condition now but I do have a word of warning the word of warning is the following when I was as I was building this car and it would be the subject of another video in a minute so when you go to a kind of auto jumbo you know jumble sale potluck you get, get a car off the internet never assume that it has the standard tune because sometimes that some discounts have been messed up and the settings in here were completely all over the place there were absolutely nothing to do with the standard tune-up so what I what I had to do is put it right back to the standard tune-up make sure that everything checks out with the manual so now I'm confident that once I get the power valve that I'm missing this car would be absolutely right on but I just want to say I just want to say for you guys out there be careful when you buy something don't assume it's gonna work for your car because sometimes it can be adapted to other cars so th that's it so I hope you got something out of it thank you very much for watching uh, thank you very much for your questions and I'll see you on the next episode